Hello guys, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening whenever and wherever you are watching this video from. Let's answer this C3 of 2025 GCE Chemistry or Science Paper 2. So this is Organic Chemistry and this is saying Use the displayed structure shown to answer questions that follow. Okay, so if you look at this nicely, this is this is an acid. Okay, this is an acid. So now, what is the name of this acid? Okay. Or what criteria that, um, can you use to identify uh, this acid? It's because of the presence of this double bond and this uh, O, this carboxyl what? Carboxyl uh, group, okay? Which is the COOH. So this is an acid. Now, what's the name of this acid? Check. It has two at carbon atoms. One, two. So two carbon atoms is if. So the name of this uh, compound is ethanoic acid. This is acid. So this is ethanoic acid. Mm -hmm. So the first question here is saying, name the what? Name the organic compound shown. So the organic compound here is um, so a one. So is ether ethanoic acid ethanoic acid then two this belongs to the family of um, the acids carboxylic acids or alkanoics so you can say carbo carboxylic acids so saying to which homologous series does it belong it belong to what the carboxylic what as acids Okay. Next question. Um, ethanol is uh, an organic compound which belongs to the homologous series known as alcohols. Yes, 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 yes. This we know. What's your question? So the question is saying, uh, this is B, right? Uh, okay, B1. Draw a displayed structural formula of ethanol. Before I draw the displayed structural formula of ethanol, I also need to write the chemical name, chemical formula, rather. So the chemical formula of ethanol, since this is ethanol, okay, ethanol, the chemical formula is what? Um, C2 H5O. H. So the structure, I'm going to start with a number of carbon here, which is C. Um, this is a bond, carbon to carbon. Then here, I'm going to have what? The OH, which is the hydroxyl what? Um, hydroxyl group. Then, this one has six carbon, uh, six atoms of hydrogen rather. So I've already written one, which is uh, at the end here. So the remaining five will come here. One, uh, two, three, four, five. So this is the answer here. Okay. What's the next question? Okay. The other question is saying, uh, what term is used to describe the manufacture of ethanol from ethene. Simple, simple issue, guys. This is very simple. Um, this is two. You should know that ethanol can be manufactured um, using what? One, hydration. Hydration. Hydration of what? Of ethene. So I'm just teaching you, I'll show you. So the answer is just the hydration here. This is the process. Hydration of ethene. When you add the steam to ethene here, uh, what will be formed is ethanol. The other method is what? Fermentation. 
fermentation okay what is fermentation this is the decomposition or the breaking down of what the breaking down of glucose or sugars okay in the presence of what a catalyst a catalyst or yeast okay um yeast is what is the catalyst so in yeast there is an enzyme called zymase so when the fermentation takes place the glucose breaks down to ethanol and carbon dioxide okay ethanol and carbon dioxide so the, those are the products that we um uh, that will be formed when ethanol when ethanol is, form, is, is formed by what by uh, fermentation okay by fermentation but by hydration you just add uh, steam to this which is hydration or water all right so the answer here is hydration to this question question what uh, this one what term is used to describe the manufacture of ethanol from ethene hydration simple but you should also know fermentation mm -hmm. this usually comes Let's go to the other question. Um, hmm. Question C is saying butyl propanoate is an ester. Yes, we know. C1, name two reagents used to form it. Mm -hmm. Do you remember what I, I told you when you were looking at section B of this same paper? There was a question similar to this, and I explained. Okay, so then since it is butyl, check butyl, butyl proper, proper no it. This is an ester. Now, how can you know the reagent C? The reagents or reactants, the first part here comes from the alcohol. Simple, right? Then this part of an ester comes from the what? From the acid which is the carboxylic acid now what is the name of this alcohol this is butyl so this is the butanol okay so number one uh, okay one we thought to write two so one uh, butanol then uh, two propanoic acid okay propanoic acid Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So then um two check. We are told to describe a chemical test for the minor byproduct of esterification. Nice. The minor byproduct of esterification, guys, is water. So the question is just describe the chemical test for water. Okay. So now Describing the chemical test for water, you can just say, add, um, add the uh, add an hydras hydras copper copper to what copper to sulfate, okay. To the minor by minor by product, okay. Since we're not told that it's water, and hydrous copper to sulfate, okay. So you can say the the white the white and hydrous copper to sulfate and hydrous copper to sulfate um, turns blue turns what? turns blue okay turns blue in um, in the presence of water presence of water okay so if it's blue okay if the white uh, in a hydroscopic to sulfate turns blue just know that what what's there is what water 
okay the minor byproduct is what water okay so oh here you can just say add an hydroscopa to sulfate to water okay which is the minor byproduct then the water the white and hydroscopa to sulfate turns blue okay turns blue signifies the presence of what the presence of water okay so that's it to uh this one what's this one uh-huh this one too then d d the same state state two uses of what two uses of esters mm. okay simple two uses of esters so this is what d1 d1 so d1 so you can say um they are used in the manufacture of in the manufacture of um, uh, manufacture of perfumes perfumes due to sweet due to sweet fruit smells tununki ramsogole rutu okay number 1 number 2 you can say they are used in food and uh, drink food and drink what flavor flavoring okay flavoring and preservatives okay preservatives no oh, preservation okay preservation the last question here you can see eh? oh, yes the last question is saying give one similarity between esterification and neutralization mhm mm this is simple this one one similarity okay not difference but just the similarity okay so this is uh it e uh, d2 okay so d uh, d1 here there is this is number 1 and this is number 2 then d2 so we are asked to give one similarity so there are a lot of so you can say um both reactions produce water mm -hmm. produce what produce water all right you can also say just for sake of uh, studying you can say both uh, uh, both reactions are exothermic exothermic meaning they release heat to the water they release heat to the environment okay they produce heat now apart from knowing apart from knowing similarities you should also know differences right you should also know differences between esterification and neutralization um let me just mention quickly a few differences between esterification and neutralization number 1 esterification is reversible while neutralization is not reversible number 2 esterification produces an ester while neutralization produces a salt 3 esterification is slower while neutralization is faster last but not the least esterification involves a carboxylic acid which is an organic acid and an alcohol while neutralization involves any acid organic or mineral acid and a base so there is a base here but in esterification there is an alcohol okay so that's it to this question uh, c3 of 2025 gce okay so if you've enjoyed subscribe mm -hmm. see you in the next video